to the comprehensive plan, and uh, he, he took a lot of time and effort to put this together. So uh, I'd like to ask him if he would please read this as, as our way of introducing the comprehensive plan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I just way of clarification, I called our, our chairman um, and asked him, I'm not really permission, I guess, but his blessings on uh, maybe the commissioners putting a clarifying statement of some kind in this as to whatever we discuss tonight and whenever we approve it uh, is exactly what that is, what it means, uh, what it means to us. And so based on some conversations that, uh, that, that I'd heard during the meetings, uh, I wrote this statement, if you guys approve it, uh, then uh, it would be okay with me if we include this as the, maybe the, I guess the front page or a, a page of the comprehensive plan. Um, <coughs> It says to the citizens of Macon County in receiving and approving this comprehensive plan, the Macon County Board of Commissioners would like to sincerely thank all the citizens of Macon County who work so diligently on this plan. Your hours of research and meeting are very much appreciated, not only by us, but we believe the citizens of this county. We acknowledge that if we commissioned the plan to be completed by an outside company, the cost would have been tremendous and the plan would not have the local care that this plan has received. We as you believe that looking to the years to come, it is wise and is part of being a good steward of our current and future resources. In accepting this plan, this County Board of Commissioners recognizes that nothing herein is received as a directive in nature uh, and is a planning document only. This is to be used with other future input to look to the future of Macon County. We recognize further that any, any actions of these elements of the plan will require future and separate action of the current or future county commissions. <clears throat> this is to be a living document that can and may change as the future boards see, it, see fit. Again, sincere thanks to all those who have worked to complete this document and may our look to the future be with hope and promise of an even better tomorrow for our beautiful county. Kindness of regards making county commissioners. Thank you, Commissioner Ford. And I uh, thank you if there's no uh, any thoughts on the motion to attempt making part of this I mean, well let's uh, let's uh, well, uh, let's just work through it one way so I consider that well let me just does anybody have an objection to adding this if we don't we'll consider for purposes of discussion throughout that it's just there so gentlemen if you if you would if we're in agreement let's turn to uh, page 63 <coughs> And again, the, the, the pages before will be kept in the uh, county manager's uh, office, and we can see that as, as uh, uh, back. What we're considering the comprehensive plan, and just consider it page 64 through 133. Uh, I, as, we, as we go through these items, uh, good question. If we go through these items, if, if we have a consensus right now, uh, if, if somebody has an objection to anything we're discussing, uh, you know, raise the objection. If we need to have a vote on it, we will. If, it, if, it's without, if it's without objection, we'll, we'll move forward. Okay. And, and I don't think anybody has an objection to that, do we? No. Okay. And, all right, so we'll, we'll go ahead then. I just add, Mr. Chairman, that, you know, before we get to the final passage, that Something we probably need to add a paragraph, maybe even to Commissioner Corbin's letter, stating that, you know, further information and these recommendations can be found at the location where it can be found. Uh, of course, they'll always be on our way of maybe under this position, right? It won't be in mind. <coughs> okay, Jimmy, if, if we can, uh, we'll start on page 64 uh, on economic development. Uh, We've got, we got the uh, introduction there and uh, the ABC uh, commentary. We've got the subcommittee structure on page 67, and we finally on page 68 get to the recommendations. Uh, from, from that part, the recommendation one is to continue to nurture and support proactive economic development commission. Two uh, burger dots are to provide for implementation of recommendations as proposed by the EDC uh, in June 1, 2010 report, and as other reports are developed, ensure they're given uh, full consideration. Do we have any, any comments on that? 
gentlemen, we'll move forward to the next item, public services. Uh, and, and this includes uh, law enforcement, emergency management, public water and sewer uh, are, are those items. So I'm, I'm moving, just moving forward until we get to the, to the uh, recommendation. Uh, 
take steps to ensure that the sewer system is adequate is at adequate capacity in advance of need. Um, and it, at 70 percent capacity, begin planning for future expansion or construction. And at 80 or 90 percent of full capacity, based on the growth rate in effect at that time, begin to secure funding and implement the expansion plan for construction of new treatment facilities. Uh, the second one with the public sewer, uh, consider impact uh, that future extensions of the sewer system will have on the rural character of Macon County. Uh, I'd like to, the only, uh, it says extend sewer system only to those areas capable of su supporting commercial or large scale residential development. I can say in my time and, and uh, Commissioner Bill, uh, we've served together a long time, but I, I don't think we've ever not considered uh, the impact when we put in sewer systems that they'll have on not only the rural character but whether the county can afford to do so and if it's a, a feasible thing. And sometimes we, we've uh, not found that to be the case. So uh, I think that's always a consideration when, we, when we're considering And in reality, Mr. Chairman, this is the town of Franklin's. Uh, I mean, when we give the sewer system and the new water system to Riverbend Estates and Swiss College, the town will own that system. Right. So, we have to partner with the town before anything can be really considered. So, and, and I was going to ask, you know, Mr. Chairman, if there's some words that we can put in there to, to, to make take any confusion out of anybody's mind, I think that's a make the county come get in this. See what I'm saying? I, I don't, I don't, I understand what they're saying, but I don't want somebody to pick this up and say, oh, we're going to get in this. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Can we put town of Franklin, town of Holland in there? somewhere that well you could put in cooperation with municipalities that's that'd be fine just something to make that clear say, I just, we'll say know, let's take the confusion out. as long as you understand that the, the state general statute does allow to get in that business should they choose to. right yeah should they but i would like but I'd, I'd just like to make it clear that that's not what we meant okay. the, 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 that's what we're trying to say that's <laughs> not what we meant here so i don't want there to be any confusion mean. Consider conjunct in, in consider in, cooperation with which it doesn't in consideration. In consideration. Something yeah. to tell me that that's that we know. I mean, I, I know what we mean. I mean, I know what we meant here, but so extend the sewer system going to those areas capable of supporting commercial or large scale residential development in conjunction with the municipalities involved. Yes. Or in partnership. What's that? In partnership. Okay. Keep the word considering there. Okay. In, in partnership with the municipalities inside the county is what we do. Okay, so it's number three. No, it's not number two. It adds on to the It adds on to the burden. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would also like to just make a comment that any systems that we uh, that's already being done and I will continue that would always be the case because we don't build a system and that's what municipality would you like to have you know we, we already know ahead of time what the situation is going to be because we are not uh, in the uh, sewer maintenance business for the county we don't we don't and in, in, in point well takes it with the attorney but but uh, we don't anticipate that being the case but and, and I think that's how that was written with that understanding I just Okay, public water. Investigate and pursue establishment of secondary uh, secondary water sources. Uh, take steps to ensure the water system is at ad adequate capacity in advance of need. Uh, unless we want to, you know, put consider in front of number one, or if you guys would like to leave it like it is, what's your thoughts? I think the same thing. Well, I think that's looking into the future. So the a secondary water source, I mean, 20 years from now, uh, you know, the town and the county together may have to look for a new water source. And if you start that process now, it'll probably take 10 or 15 years to get in place. And I put so, the same tone with respect to partnerships that we had in the first one. Anything same to do with water and sewer, I think, needs to be in conjunction with the partnership. Okay, take steps to ensure the water system is at adequate capacity in advance of me. Uh, number three, consider the impact of future extensions of the water system will have on the rural character of Macon County. Uh, I'd like to add to that, Mr. Chairman, if I might. 
It's like we're doing right now. It's still public water. All these those areas capable of supporting commercial or large scale development. Are those existing subdivisions slash neighborhoods that are already in jeopardy because of failure system?
can be the case or we need to whatever whatever we need to do to make that a, a, a more uh, and there's a whole list of there's some caveats of, of how you can get out of science <coughs> but yet if your church is having vacation bible school and you put the sign up i think Jack Morgan, you remember that one well mm -hmm. but so that it's just not it's not uniform across the board you agree with that much more than the way you're sitting here so again, uh, we're not talking about anything that's not, all of these orders are already in place currently, so we're not looking at new order. Telecommunications tower, same thing. We have a order for that that was passed December 3rd, same day, 2001. And then then it, uh, I just mentioned some critical areas like the flood areas, watersheds, and protected ridge lines, and agricultural areas. So now on page 86, here are the recommendations, which again are the, the meat of what we're talking about. Uh, number one is the county planning board uh, should be authorized by the Lake County Board of Commissioners to begin work on, on, uh, on, a, on regulations concerning construction and development of slopes. Uh, I mean, I personally like to see that stricken out. The reason being is we're already doing that, and I believe the planning board just recently, the subcommittee brought that uh, recommendation to the planning board, and that's going to come before us. And so that issue, I believe, is going to be uh, discussed, and, and uh, some uh, agreement or some decision is going to be made on that. So I don't know that it needs to be a part of the, of the uh, comprehensive plan, because so it's going to be. Uh, taken care of in the next month. Now, what's the what's the board's thought on that? I made mine. I was the first to ease on Mr. Corbin and Mr. Tupper to the board. I, mean, I was there for some of these discussions, but not. Y'all know what? I know. guess I guess, Mr. Chairman, I, I take the opposite. And I would say since you're already doing it, why take that? Uh, if it was something you were going to authorize over and above, that's fine. I mean, the, the action is taken and the planning board is going to come to us, and it doesn't really matter whether it's in there or not, except that you're already doing it. And so if you're already doing it, it doesn't seem to, it seems to me to be a good point. Uh, I would, however, uh, we may have a discussion on the burger bullets later. I'm still on the bullet taste side. Uh, I'm not thrilled to death with burger bullets. But but, uh, but I think that it's something that we've already passed and do. Uh, and, you know, I, I do like the new word, but the, you know, the better than the old one, regulation instead of the other. Uh, I, I think that, that you might have the plan board scratching their head if you, if you said, well, you told us to do it, and you didn't even put it in the plan. Well, I would scratch my head I'll, if I was on I'll tell you why I say that. To me, that's the same thing as saying, well, build a, build a old school. It's out there being built right now. What's the use to put that in the plan if we need all the school and it's already being built? If I old school was a part of a bigger master plan of school, school constructions, and you might want to you might want to have it in. Uh, I'm not going to fight and die, Mr. Chairman, but I, I think that probably it could stay and it really would have no harm. Uh, this will be, you know, in theory, this will be published before that is accomplished. So, you know, I mean, you see what I'm saying? I mean, the chances of this, the chances are this will come, this will come to some sort of, of, of fate before, before the planning board reports out on anything they want to do slow. So therefore, it's still part of it, I think. But that's just, well, I'm, well. Now, I think you have to get in we can cover to the two bullet points to really talk about the bold time. Uh, yeah, I do too. Uh, and the two bullet points. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you said to strike the whole paragraph? Yes, I, I, I think so because I think that the... Are you saying that's paragraph number one? Just mm -hmm. number one because, of, because we, we're, al we're yep. already dealing with it and we're going to be dealing <coughs> with it in a month. So why should it be in a 20-year plan when it's Two weeks, two I don't understand what you're saying. No, we've not adopted anything. That's no, right. Don't, yeah. in, in terms of how this group talks about this project, uh, we disagree a little bit about this. My thing is, is consistency, and that was one of my reasons for writing this opening statement. 
is that there there is no regulation or there's no regulation or instruction of regulation in this and this one is a, it, it is something that's in the pipe already but you guys i guess got the ball rolling long before i was here that's coming yeah. sometime yeah so i i would i would agree with chairman that i don't think that needs to be in there simply because it's to me it's saying with well, the original language at least said to begin work on ordinance governing construction and development Most likely, <coughs> so yeah so i i think as far as consistency if, if that's something that's uh, I mean, we can certainly, I mean, I mean, we can certainly take a vote on it. That's what we need to do. It's not a problem. Mr. Chairman, I'm not going to. That's a consensus of the board, and I understand what your argument is. I, I think we're. I don't know what the consensus is. I, I don't know what the consensus is. But I, I, mean, think, I, I think I count pretty good. I don't know about you. My math's pretty good. <laughs> I, I mean, I can, I can get that math done real quick. I, there's no doubt, but that but that's okay. I mean, can I, we discuss the two bullet points before we talk yeah. about a consensus? I, th I think we should, sure. because they're going with it. I mean, if you take one, you take yeah. them all. Well, right. number one, let's talk about the ordinance should be based on principles recommended by the slope development strategy subcommittee. We have asked this committee to work on these. They appointed to the main campaign board, and they're going to bring it back to this board. That does not mean this board will adopt that part or any part yeah. of. The slope recommendations are not back. So, I clarify for me that this saying this ordinance should be adopted by the slope development trade subcommittee recommendation of the planning board's February 10th meeting. And you know, I don't think that you can hamstring this board or any other board with that, even as a recommendation. I said I didn't like it. So I, I think that that. You know, we don't know I if there'll be you. any of that adopted. We've I asked for the planning board to bring it before the county committee. Probably should be presented for consideration. Oh yeah. Oh clearly. As opposed to adoption. Yeah. And that's what uh I mean, otherwise I, you your uh insist to advocate your responsibility. Yeah. 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 And and if we can get consensus to leave paragraph in there, then that might be able to change the folks around the table where it's where the way it's worded now. It's saying that you, I, don't, I don't realize the recommendation, but that's still what it says, right? I agree. I, mean, I agree with you. I, I, I said before, I well, didn't like the burger book. Well, in that it's case, let's move on to that. What do you call it? Burger book. Okay. Okay. That's what Mr. Chairman Burger Burger Okay. okay. Well, burger okay. B -E -R -D. okay. <laughs> well, let's talk a minute about the second, Bullet. about the slope hazard maps um, that are very valuable to you. Should be utilizing county plan development of slope development ordinance to minimize the probability of future development related to slope failure. Well, you can make argument about the slope movement hazard map. I am glad Macon County has it, number one. Because I don't think you'll see the more of them apparently uh, throughout the state. But we do have these maps. Other money to keep them up. Other money to keep them up. So the slope hazard maps, uh, I do have a problem <laughs> with the slope hazard maps and I, I voiced this before. I think it's too broad. It paints it with a broad brush. I've talked to Mr. Luke. We've had this conversation more than one time with Derek and, and Jack and, and members of this board that the slope hazard maps uh, takes a lot of things, I believe, into consideration <coughs> that when they happen, anything can happen. But the slope hazard maps uh, for Macon County is a two-edged sword. I think that it shows that yes, are we are we susceptible in a six inch rain over over if you give us a six inch rain over a period of eight hours, here what kind of map you got? We're gonna have problems. And so uh, I'm not saying that slope hazard maps are useless, I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying that there's other things to put as we take all this stuff into consideration, this board, not future board. <coughs> But I think the map should be just one part of it, not a primary part of it. Does that make any sense? Well, won't you just say that? <coughs> okay, I agree. I don't, I don't, I don't like the second bird. Both bird or bird? Bird or bird. I don't like the second bird. Um, 
I think this, I think the first one needs to be rewritten and that's the language of the rewrite over there. But I, I would still maintain that I think I, I guess my point is that it should stay. But yeah, I, I, mean, I, I don't think we have much I guess to do my it, point so. is, I mean, if, if we're going to consider it, which we know we are, unless the planning board tells us not to it, to it, which is not going to happen, I mean, that's what we have to do. I mean, we have to do that. Uh, so, in my mind, this, this board, as we sit here, that we'll, we'll have, uh, looking at all information, we will make a decision on steep slope. And so that I mean that's that's a done deal. Whenever we decide, however we decide to manage that, or what what we do with it. So I don't see why we would have it in a, a long range plan because it's really a now plan. I mean we're doing it right now. Are you saying, Mr. Chairman, that if once we receive that from the planning board or whatever decision that this board decides to make, then we can come back to this plan. There's nothing here that's in stone. You could always change this. You could always put that. Uh, in whatever month of 2011, Lake County Board of Commissioners adopted, you could, you could, you could still put something in there considering that that's necessary. Back, that, that would go, go back, back to the previous section. Section. That's exactly which, which lists. And I think what Brian's saying, and I, I agree with you, that, that, that that's implying that, that we're telling the I don't know what that, but that's going to be. I don't think any of us do. But, I mean, I mean, my, if, this, if this current board is going to deal with that issue, and, and this current board is going to sign off on the on the uh, uh, long-term plan, the comprehensive plan, that that issue will have already been settled by this board. So why would you put it? <coughs> like well, well, we put it in the about, about the school the document. Document. I agree with that. This did be part of the document. But it needs to be, I think that part of it is not written yet. Because yeah, I don't correct. think right. we'll correct. go back in the previous pages, it will come back as an existing regulation. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So so we can. So in other words Yeah, yeah, and you're saying it depending on what we do with it, yeah. it come back. It can sure back. it can. Yeah. 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 So but but as it stands, I'll we'll take it out. Taking so that paragraph do. one. So we just take out number one. Yeah, that sign is heard. You got him on. You All right, number two, the county should consider developing a, uh, an ordinance aimed at minimizing the effects of stormwater runoff. I think we should leave it in there because I think that any board, maybe not this board should consider that in the future. I'm minimizing, I like the way it's wordy, uh, uh, and I think most of that's already been done. And I think that, that under our soil erosion, if you go back and read it, and I tried to compare it to this paragraph, uh, but, uh, but the, truth, the, the key word is should consider. <coughs> right. Does anybody, you got any heartburn with that? I mean, just just a thought. We we changed that one at the top before we got rid of it. Uh, we have an ordinance. We haven't blasted it out of of where it's hiding. Uh, that that probably will address some of this. Uh, I'm not sure we need to develop a new ordinance. I'm not sure we don't need to develop regulations. You see what I'm saying? That's what we changed over time. That's all I'm thinking. I like the rest of the wording. I like the rest of it. It needs to stay in. I'm absolutely in favor of that. Is is it a is it a big point to have a new ordinance? Do we want a new ordinance to stay just one more run off? That would be my question. I would think it would be. I think I think it would be part of what's governed now under our shoulder and road. I do too, and that's why I'd like to say develop sensible red common sense regulations instead of developing more. And implemented as part. You want to add that? And yeah, implemented as part of it, that'd be fine. I have no problem. And could we say if we could we say the county may consider instead of should consider? That's right. Yes. So may consider developing uh, regulations aimed at minimizing the effects of storm water runoff as a part of in conjunction with existing ordinance. So, because I think that's where it's going to wind up in. And I 
say the ordinance may, the next purpose of it, the ordinance may, may be based, I'd say may be based, yes. again, or should be, and may take into consideration. I would leave the first should and get rid of the second. Everything we do should be best on best maintenance practices, but it may consider the fire. I, I agree with you. Let's, let's I agree that with that. We'll take that back. And, and you have to be careful, and of course this might be for somebody else, but another one that I tried and had, I had a little problem with, lot sizes should be larger, slope increases. Depending on what you do with the slope. That's not necessarily, in my opinion, I mean, I can have a high taker lot, you know, and he can be on a, if he's on a steeper slope, it's depending on how I do that. If I decide to build a retainer wall to the top of it, then you suggest take that out. Well, I suggest that it, I suggest it read like this. Lot, lot sizes should be, if lot sizes need to be larger, that should be part of the plan submitted if you get to that slope standard. I don't think we right. should just put a, right. a blanket over and says, well, I'm sorry, but because you already impede, you can impede a lot of land here. Well, I'm going to tell you this, guys. I've talked with you before about something else like this. You put the common sense together. Yes, I will treat the steeper slope that you're going to build on the more ground that you need to cut. You're getting away from the existing building. That's what I mean. talk about. Mm -hmm. And I'm not against. Anyway, you know where I stand on that slope ordinance, but I'm not against safety in any way. I'm against restrictions against person, people personally. But I think that this would be something that should be considered. It's something like we talked about. It. It was, you know, a lot needs to be a little bit bigger if you're going to have a slope up here. I wouldn't want a house right straight below me. It is something we should consider. I think it would be fire to everybody concerned. What do you, what do you, can we give mighty words? What do you it should, it, you just say it, it, it should be a consideration of the lot size depending on the slope. I'm it's not saying that. In the end, I'm not saying that I agree with nothing in here. I say I have to consider anything. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and you know, in, in keeping with kind of what you're saying, uh, Ron, Ron, the, the several of these things, I mean, I think we have to be careful when we're saying the percentage of service <coughs> should, be allowed, should, be, should be controlled. The amount of uh, impervious service should be controlled. The amount of vegetation retention and the type of plant you got on the property should be established. To me, that's that's getting pretty, uh, you know, all in the name of, of uh, stormwater runoff. You know, that's getting well, all that pretty, depends. Pretty controlling. But it all depends on how you do it. I mean, you can't. Well, certainly, and nobody is doing it like we did it two years ago already. Right. In the future, we got we got to even look at better ways to do it because the more land you take off, the more erosion is going to happen. But I do think that 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 has improved. I think we we'll all agree to that. But uh, as far as the wording here, I, I had trouble with the lot sizes because it, it all depends on how you handle the slope. I, I'd be in favor of marking everything under that burger dog except the first one and. and, and a group decides, uh, a board or somebody decides to pursue this, leave it up to that board and whoever sits on the planning board and everything at that time to, to manage this thing. It's just somebody that said, no, you should do this, you should do this, you should do that. Uh, I would say whoever on the planning board at that time, uh, that would be their job to decide what should be done. You know, what, what to propose, I should say, not what should be done. What to recommend. What to recommend. And, and by whoever the board, the, the board of commissioners is at that time. And let's just be honest with each other here. This is just us talking to the folks out here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, sub, the subdivisions, we've known them in the past for years and years and years. How many years is it going to be before we see an influx? We've got six, 700 or something subdivisions. Roughly. I mean, when are we going to see the next subdivision? I mean, unless it's a high, I think what you might see is high-end subdivisions, uh, and I think a lot of these things will be covered under that. I'm not, you know, and that may, I hope it changes. But can, we, can we look at this? What if I say, if you take into consideration the law, culvert placement and design, lot sizes versus slope, 
percent of disturbed area on a route allowed on one. Don't don't say it should be controlled. Just say consider. Okay. Percent of impervious surfaces on a lot. Requirements for vegetation. And, and take the shoulds and the, and the have tos out of it and say consider these points. Because I think that's what they meant. I'm trying to read their minds, but I'm I'm thinking that's what they meant. They just wanted to give you some sort of guidelines to say this is what you ought to consider. Don't say you should control it. Just say you should look at it. Look at lot sizes versus slope. Look at percent of disturbed area on the lot. Look at look at it. Don't 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 make up their minds for them when they look at it. Just tell them to look at it. I'll agree. With you. That well, makes I'll sense. I mean, that's all I'm trying to say. I'm going to tell you what, on, on this right here, I, I wrote that in. I wrote consent. I represent citizens of Macon County, not me. So, I'm going to put in here a little consent. I'm happy. And take out the should be controlled. I'll right, right. 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 get rid of it. So why, why don't you just say what you do? Here's what I'd say, Mike. I'd say the ordinance should be based on best management practice and may take into account or may, ta or may take into consideration the following. Curvature placement, culvert placement, I'm sorry, culvert placement and design. Lot sizes versus slope. Percent of disturbed area allowed on a lot. Percent of impervious services allowed on a lot. Requirements for vegetative retention. Bingo. Done. Okay. Now, if they want to control it, they can control it when they get ready to write this thing. If they don't want to control it, they don't have to. All we're saying is consent. And it's all we're saying. And the future board wants to write that into law sure. or an ordinance? Go for it. Have them all. They're, they're, elected, they're, elected. they're elected to do so. I'll be a J.A. or something else. That's what I'm going to say. It will not be a problem. Okay, we can always have a little bit of that. Okay. Uh, number three, uh, the county should regulate all construction involving land disturbance for residential, commercial construction, and the following way. Uh, uh, I went first on all this. I guess I'm there. But I didn't have words to say. Well, I'm on. Let me go on this. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't the darn bit bashful about it. You go right ahead. That right there had been took care of that house that everybody's showing out here on the Georgia Road. It's sliding off that mountain right there. Ain't got nothing to do with foundation. It's got something to do with the land disturbance down there on the bottom of the hill. But yet, I keep hearing that there's a slope problem up there on that, which is not. There's a land disturbance problem at the bottom of the hill. Your turn. Okay. The county should incorporate construction standards in all existing orders. You need, really need to read the whole thing. Uh, the most trouble we have right today is Mount Mason was here, Jack, we you ask Jack Morgan to come and speak to me, is with the roads. Number one, go to Wildflower today. That's the reason you've got almost 20 mile road belly. It's construction of the roads, no slope on the roads. That's the reason they have a man up there eight hours a day shoveling dirt out of the ditches. Because it has no slope, you have you have banks on wildfire, miles of them. They'll never have no vegetation because they have no slopes on them. So uh, the land disturbance part of it uh, on the roads and, uh, and, when you, and when you do the house places and on the, on the cut and field slopes. I mean, that's where the problems are. And, uh, and, and it says all constructed slopes over a certain vertical height should be regulated. Uh, if that slope is constructed properly, uh, you don't have to regulate it. But if, I mean, if you say a two to one slope, which any good, a good grade man, or a two to one after 30 feet tall, do we need to write that down? And, I, I think that's something else. But the placement of the field is where you really got to read. The area of the field, the area on the field should be stripped and grubbed and all vegetation removed. That's just good grading practices. A bench should be constructed at the toe of the field. That's just, they just had a school for graders and that's what they told them in the school. The field material should be free of organic material. That's generic. Field material should be placed in limbs. That's just good grading practices. Field material should meet compaction standards. <coughs> now, all those things are just general good construction practices when it comes to grading. 
that when you and it, and it don't give no height, vertical height and the steepness. All constructed slopes over a certain vertical height should be regulated. I will change the should to may. I will change county should the county may and and let that be the decision of the elected official in charge. But as far as the as the bullet <coughs> comes underneath, I think that is just good general construction practices. Does anybody disagree with that? Oh, I agree. I'm not I'm really question. I'm asking if you say it's legal or take them out. Because I'm leaving. It. He says legal. I, I say legal. I don't mind leaving any of those. Things. And I think it should be, I think we should have a thing here that this ordinance, as far as this goes, I think that we can tie that back in to our soil and erosion orders we already have in place. And I'll have to write a whole new one. Yeah, that's how I agree. That's my comments. Well, well that, that said, it does say the first two burgers out there said the county uh, should incorporate construction standards into, into existing, let's just say May, into existing ordinances. I would and I, I wouldn't say and all, I'd just say existing. Into existing. Yeah. As appropriate. As appropriate. As appropriate. I've looked at that and I've seen the problem up in there exactly like you guys are talking. Mm -hmm. It is what, what the guy below did. Yeah, I realize. I see a culvert that was put in wrong. The cut back was not uh, cut in enough. And who's going to pay to clean that up? Who, at the end of the day, who will pay to clean that up? The people in this room, the people in this county. If it's to be cleaned up, we can stop. That's the problem. Uh, and I just what you got, The county may incorporate construction standards into all existing ordinances as appropriate. Take the word all. Take the word all. We don't need this for sign order. As well as in future ordinances dealing with land destruction. Standards may regulate cut and fill slopes over a certain vertical height and steepness. All constructed slopes over a certain vertical height may be regulated. When I say may regulate, too, the standards may regulate cut and fill slopes over a certain